Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, January 5th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of excitement and a little bit of push to the upside, and then the FOMC uh, minutes came out, and we saw a little bit of selling bringing us right back down into the range of the day. So, what does that mean for? today's market well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we may, may want to approach the market for today well that diamonds continues to hold up here um, above that downturn break giving us a little bit of hope of some upside here in the market but unfortunately we continue to deal with this con congestion range this consolidation range that has proved to be pretty darn tenacious and as you can see we continue to pound against this upside move or upside resistance and still unable to break through and here again this morning in the pre-market we have them working to pump up that uh, futures um, to try and break that resistance will we get it done today well maybe one of the things i think we should be watching for is the possibility if they can break this resistance they may trigger a little bit of a short squeeze and if that were to occur then look for a quick move up into some of these resistance other re resistance levels in the chart and maybe even pushing on through some to some higher resistance levels here in the Dow. One thing you do want to keep a pretty close eye on when you look at these charts is just realizing that we, whoops, I'm trying to get to a place where I don't have a whole lot of drawings. We have a lot of price resistance over here in, the ch in this chart on the diamonds. And as we continue to get negative economic data, it, it just seems like um, you know we move one step forward and slide two steps back a little bit as that economic data continues to be pretty darn bearish and um, we continue to get report after report of the potential 2023 recession so although they're trying to get this year off to a a good strong start um, we're struggling here with these resistance levels so if the bears happen to find inspiration in the data today which I'm not sure that they will because what we have done is we've received all of this bad economic data so far this week and we're just ignoring it we'll get an initial reaction down and then boy they just start buying it right back up to try and push us out of that range so if those bears find um, inspiration and actually take active um, action on it then we might see a press back down here toward this lower range of this consolidation. Unfortunately, that's an 830 point range, so it can be a little bit painful if you're rushing in and trying to buy right near all of this resistance in the chart. So be kind of careful there. And if you take a look at the SPY, unfortunately, the SPY is not helping us out at all. The SPY continues to remain in this overall bear market condition. And if we look in a little bit closer, well, we continue to have these problems in here as well, where we broke that support level, we broke that upside trend here in the chart, and we really are putting in um, a bearish flag um, consolidation here on the SPY. That being said, they continue to try and press and press and press to break us through that resistance up here. Let's see if they can get her done. And if they do, I would look for those bulls maybe to push right on through. And by the way, you want to keep in mind, this is a fairly substantial resistance right in here. You can see all of these data points across here providing that price resistance across that chart. But if they can push through, then we'd look for a rally up into this area right in here. 
in the SPY. If the bears were to engage and find um, something to work with on the chart, well, once again, I'm just going to suggest we're going to push right back down here into the lower range of that area. And that's about a 130 point range here on the SPY. Now, looking at the technicals here in the chart, well, certainly our technicals are not bullish. We're still below our 50 day. Our 34 EMA and 20 moving average has moved down through that 50, but we still have that 50 day moving average trying to move higher. So we still run that up a chance that we could rally back up toward that 50 to test it as resistance. But keep in mind, there is a significant moving average resistance, um, technical resistance in the chart, along with that price action resistance that we're having to deal with. Let's take a look at our QQQ. The NASDAQ continues to be the weakest of the indexes. And we're kind of floating around here down the low, down toward the lows of last year, as you can see. And unfortunately, there's not much here that we can be really bullish about. Um, as a matter of fact, we've heard um, over the last 24 hours some big layoffs from CRM, uh, Salesforce, um, laying off seven to eight thousand people. We just heard um, last night that um, Amazon is increasing their numbers of layoffs to more than. 18,000 and um, I think we're likely going to see quite a bit more of that coming from the tech sector as we move along. Now if you take a look here in this chart besides that downtrend we still have an awful lot of ugly um, here in this chart. We continue to break down through these resistance levels and as you can see we've tried to bounce back up to test some areas here in the chart as we work to hold this support but unfortunately not not enough has really been done to garner a whole lot of confidence and what we might be doing is we might be slipping into a little bit of consolidation zone as well here in um, the QQQ um, as we bounce around uh, near the lows. Now if we take a look at our technicals here they certainly are not bullish. We've got our 50 day moving average as you can see starting to roll over our 34 and 20 day moving averages are down through the 50. Um, we're not looking bullish here at all on the QQQ. So if those bulls were to find some inspiration in the chart, once again, I would kind of suggest that we would look for a push back up into here, maybe to test some of these levels. And if they can push through that, well, maybe a little bit higher, you can see we've got pr some pretty substantial resistance here in the chart right around that area. If the bears find inspiration, well, I'm going to say once again, maybe a push down here to test um, that level of support. And if that were to fail, possibly new lows here in the NASDAQ. So watch carefully for that. And if we look at our Russell, Russell um, had a pretty good day yesterday, one of the better of the indexes. And you can see trying to break through this little area here in the chart. We keep pounding up here. We've had some wicks that pushed up a little bit higher, showing a little bit more volatility um, in that chart. But unfortunately, when we look over the bigger picture here in the chart, Doggone it, we still have lots of work to do to breach through significant levels of price resistance in the chart. So if those bulls do break out of here, well, let's look for some of those next levels of resistance to be tested and see whether or not they hold. And if we take a look at the overall, um, our overall downtrend remains bearish and we continue to suffer from this situation where we created a lower high and a lower low. So if we push back up in here, just kind of keep in mind that may be just creating the next lower high in the IWM. And if the bears find inspiration, well, again, I'm going to look for a retest down here in these lower areas of that consolidation. If we look at the technicals on this chart, again, it's pretty tough to see much bullishness here. We're starting to see that 50 day moving average is starting to flatten out just a little bit. We've got our um, uh, shorter term averages down through the 50 and we're creating a bigger potential moving average squeeze here with that 200 day coming down 
uh, to maybe join that 50 here soon in creating that moving average squeeze down in the chart. So pretty rough uh, technicals um, here along with that um, uh, difficult price action that we've been looking at. If we look at our VIX, our VIX, well, it's been a little bit on the confused side. We continue to bounce around here quite a bit. Um, yesterday, by the close, we pushed down nicely. So um, at the moment, we have rejected this resistance area here in the chart. And I think that's important. If the bulls can continue to reject um, these economic data points and ignore them and continue to push higher, then we would look for um, our VIX to continue to break down. If we were to break on down past this little um, upside trend, this little wedging pattern that we kind of have in here, then um, hey, we've got some upside if that um, were to occur. If they're unable to do that, um, they um, respond bullishly uh, to this, meaning that the market turns bearish. If we were to bounce off of here and break that resistance, I think that's where the real trouble starts to come into the market. So keep a close eye on those resistance levels. It's going to be pretty telling how we move forward here in the market. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, well, our T2122 had a pretty good day yesterday with that rally here. Um, notice that we pushed up here pretty high in T2122. 22. But unfortunately for um, everyone hoping for that big move in the market, unless we trigger a short squeeze, I'm not sure we've got a whole lot more upside potential here uh, before we run into a overbought condition. As you can see, we're pressing up toward that level pretty quickly here in the chart. So we'll want to watch that close if we gap up this morning, continue this push to the upside, and start watching for those areas where there might be reason for the bears to re-engage. Now, if the bulls find inspiration today out of those economic data points and earnings reports, um, we've got that upside opportunity, but we've opened up a substantial downside opportunity if those bears find inspiration. And if we take a look at our T2108. Well, T2108 had a nice little improvement yesterday, pushing up 44% of the stocks, holding above their 40-day moving average. And if you take a look in here, um, we bounced off of this area support. So I'm going to give this up to the bulls. They're really trying hard to inspire some buying despite the poor economic data um, um, that we've been seeing. So watch that closely. Just wanting to get this first week of the year off on a good start. And if you um, look right up in here, we have some significant price resistance to be watching for if we can push higher. If we take a look at our T2107, again, I'm going to give this to the bulls. They did a good job here yesterday improving things, bouncing off of this area of price support. So watch that close. 42% of the stocks above their 200 day holding in there. And as you can see, we've got some resistance coming into play right away here in that chart so we'll have to see if they can breach through that level as well pushing those stocks back up so keep a close eye on that um, our t2101 uh, continues to be a, uh, struggling um, it's not really showing us much for momentum we're not getting those big momentum moves because we've been stuck so long in this trading range so skipping past that here today let's go right into our um, economic calendar and if we take a look at our economic calendar well here's what we've got to deal with today we're going to be trying to work through some of these uh, points um, i mentioned yesterday how sticky these uh, jobs have been and we saw that yesterday with uh, job openings report actually increasing um, not getting any better um, and our ISM unfortunately continues to show that our economy is in contraction um, and mortgage applications were also very bearish yesterday and we chose to ignore those trying to pump to the higher side of that resistance. Now today we're going to deal with an ADP report. We'll want to watch carefully for that. We need to see some of these jobs starting to come down, these jobs numbers coming down. That's what the, the Fed wants to see. They need to see that cycle broken. So far the numbers haven't proved out that way. So watch that closely. 
international trading goods, jobless claims, and although it's not particularly a big market mover, I do think we want to kind of keep an eye on this PMI number because our PMI numbers have continued to show our economic condition in contraction. So watch that closely. We've got some Fed speakers here today. You can see we've got Bostic, Bostic speaking and we've got James Bullard speaking later on this afternoon. We've got our energy uh, reports here today with natural gas and petroleum status, and then that Fed balance sheet later on in the day. As you prepare for Friday, keep in mind, we have that employment situation number coming in on Friday. Now, that's one of those numbers that sometimes you can see the market become a little bit stale and stagnant as we wait for that number to come out. So watch that closely. After we get past the morning volatility, we may kind of die down a little bit waiting for that number on Friday. And then factory orders and those ISM services, and then uh, a parade of Fed speakers in here on Friday. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we picked up a little bit. As tradition um, holds, Thursday is one of our bigger earnings today's, and that is the case for today. So I'll run through these quickly. Um, some of them maybe not so notable, but I went ahead and included them. Um, ANGO will be reporting this morning. This is one of those not so particularly notable. Usually trades are relatively light in the volume, but watch that close. The reason I included it is we're trying to produce this bullish um, bottom pattern in here, so it might be worth keeping an eye on. We're going to hear from... Um, BBY, so watch that carefully. BB, uh, no, that's not right. BBBY is going to report today, um, not BBY. Got to fix that in the blog. Um, so BBBY will be reporting today. Again, not particularly notable considering the condition of this company right now. We're going to hear from Con Agar. Looks like Con Agar getting a nice, good report here today, popping up substantially and breaking, it looks like, to some new highs and breaking out of some resistance areas here in the chart. And then we're going to hear from Constellation Brands, one of those defensive sector companies. And it looks like it's going the opposite direction here this morning, still working around this choppy zone, but moving to the downside. We've got um, Helen of Troy um, reporting. Keep an eye on that. That's been working this upside trend, trying to push on higher here. Worth keeping an eye on. Um, we've got Lindsay reporting today. Um, that one's looking to the downside, heading into its report. NEOG will be reporting, and you can see already getting that pop here this morning, trying to bounce up a little bit of a shooting star pattern in the pre-market as we address this resistance in the chart. Um, we've got SCHN, a little steel coming into play. Watch that carefully as that reports. And last but not least is WBA on that list. And unfortunately, it looks like that has disappointed this morning. So keep a close eye on these um, reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and then be click that thumbs up button and leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And although I haven't mentioned this um, lately, I don't push this, but I just want to say and give a shout out and a huge thank you to everyone who continues to, to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you very much. You'll find that link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and this kind of content that that's not filled with prediction and not filled with um, hype and all of those kind of things. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And if you want to support it um, even further, make sure you share this link. Um, just share that link out on your social media feed. That helps other folks find this uh, content. Um, and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that are of interest that you may want to be paying attention to. First off, I've got to continue to mention 
um, precious metals, although we have stretched out here quite a ways here in gold. Um, and I do think that we're due for a rest or a pullback, maybe a consolidation in here. If we were to pull back into some support levels, of that chart i would look for that next opportunity for entry in here so one of the things that i teach all the time is to not chase the big white candles or the big you know whatever color you make them the big green candles the the big red red candles what you want to do is you want to look for trending stocks and then be watching and waiting for the next opportunity for the trade be ahead of the game instead of chasing the market so watching this chart right in here you can see we've got this nice upside trend if this were to rest or can pull back consolidate in here look for that next opportunity coming in gold um, it has been holding up and looking really really good here recently and i do think it's worth paying attention to um, so keep a close eye on that take a look at um, some of these defensive sector stocks oh my goodness khc i know it's an old boring company and it doesn't move very fast it's pretty lethargic in its moves but it's one of those old stable companies that continues to pay a strong dividend yield and it looks like we're getting an awful lot of rotation into the these kind of companies trying to hold them up um, pushing them higher with that little bit of uncertainty that we have in the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. Also saw, you know, some stocks like um, Altria trying to get a move going yesterday, but faltered. So we have a mix here on some of these defensive sector stocks. So watch that close. Um, if you're looking for some places, maybe for um, some short trades, you might want to look at some of these stocks like Walmart. If you take a look at Walmart here, we broke down below our 50 day moving average. Notice that 50 day moving average is starting to turn a little bit. Our short term moving averages are pushing down through there. There is that possibility that we could rally into this and show that failure. We call that a blue ice failure. It's one of my favorite shorting patterns. Kind of watch that carefully. We're seeing an awful lot of push back up here just recently on some of these retail stocks target zooming up here but unfortunately i think we're going to run into a pretty big wall of price and technical resistance in that chart and you may want to start looking for um, some short trades showing up in some of these retailers um, I think uh, more layoffs are probably on the way in some of these as well. So watch those close. For some of those bullish charts out there that you might be looking for, there's been quite a few um, perking up here recently that I think um, are worth keeping an eye on. But um, again, we're still running in that situation where our indexes are stuck in these ranges. So we're going to have to be pretty careful in um, some of these trades. If you take a look at a stock like um, a, a DOCU, um, DocuSign, trying to come up, nice little breakthrough in that area, um, trying to hold up in these upside trends. I think it's worth keeping an eye on that. I was looking around at, um, uh, stocks like Chewy thinking that that might, um, you know, even when the market is bad, everyone's going to feed their feed their pets. Um, but nothing here yet. And as a matter of fact, I think any rally back here in Chewy sets up um, a short opportunity in that stock. When we look at some of the big techs, boy, Microsoft really got hit hard yesterday, breaking down. And now we see this head and shoulders top pattern up here. A pretty substantial resistance has been created. So what I would watch in here is any rally back sets up that possible short. Now take a look at a stock like AT&T. AT&T, again, not a big mover. It is a boring stock, but it's one of those that pays a nice strong dividend. And we're seeing those uh, find some support in here, trying to break higher. Now, once we have lost a support level like we did here, I require a stock to break through it and then prove it can hold before I look for an entry signal into that trade. So keep an eye on AT&T. Also saw uh, Verizon uh, doing some pretty nice moves here 
breaking through some resistance levels again. I think it needs a rest or a pullback to look for that next opportunity into that chart. So look for some of those good, strong dividend pairs for places to find um, some pretty well, some some good opportunities if you want to hold those for that dividend yield. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best. Be safe. Be careful. Watch those consolidation resistance areas in the chart. That's where we could trigger that short squeeze or we could get that major reversal back to the downside. So be very, very careful. Wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.